Hey, 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 my name is Paul Schlings. Welcome back to Alyssa Seduce Keeper. With a pathetic protagonist. That's like a subtitle that I added, I added to the title. From now on, that's what the game is called. Elisa seduce the innkeeper with pathetic protagonist. Anyway, I smiled, happy you coming up with this party card, yeah, then I left the room. It's been several hours since I met her on the lower floor. She should be back by now. When I arrived through the her door, I lightly knocked four times to check if anyone was inside. I don't need anything at the moment, come back later. I was overwhelmed by joy when I saw that she was back in her room. I immediately opened the door and stepped in the room. However, it might be that I need you at the moment. Alfonso! What are you doing here? I'm just coming out of a little experience that left me a little bit overcharged, and I was hoping to be able to ease my tension a bit with you. You and me have nothing to share. Now if you don't, um, now if you don't mind, I'd like you to leave. As soon as she took a step toward me, I backed up to the door, turning the key to lock it. What are you going to do? Just some friendly conversation. We're old friends, after all. You and me have never been friends. Now please, I urge you to leave my room. What the heck? She turned and went up to her closet, ignoring me. At this point, slowly but truly, I walked toward her, ramming her by shoulders and constraining her movement so I could speak into her ear. You're right. We've never been friends. We were a lot more. Stop it! Let go of me! Why do you fear talking to me? Are you scared that some long forgotten feeling might arise again? I told you to let me go! You know, I can't help but think I... You offended me and... What? In an unspeakable way. I you? What? I don't know what you're talking about! I'm talking about the wedding, my dear Francesca. You told me nothing that I didn't even receive an invitation. You make me jealous like that, you know. I had no reason to even think. I left somewhere far behind. You should be do the same. You know well that isn't possible. And you also know that you can't call what we had an affair. I was young, naive, and low on confidence for personal issues. You just exploited me. Are these the excuses to you tell yourself to sleep better? I have a completely different memory. Slowly I creeped up to closer to her ear in order to whisper my next words. I remember you when the one coming to me when you needed some comfort, and I also remember it was you asking for a second round. Yeah, I call bullshit on that. It's not true! Whimpered the girl, fruitlessly trying to freak herself. Don't be stupid, you know, it was like that. You and me are the same. You're wrong, I changed. Now I have a husband, a son in a completely different life than what you could offer me. Not only did not say anything about waiting, but you went on to marry the biggest idiot now. From my point of view, this is nothing but a provocation. I don't tell you to speak like that about Federico. She loudly rebutted. Showing her elbow on my ribcage. I believe you did not invite because my presence might have made you change your mind. Shut up! You have no right to speak or treat me this way! Your words are the words of men who is envious of others' happiness. You should start thinking about yourself instead of pursuing. Who's ruining? What? Pursuing these insane ideas you have about me! I could go past it. It's time for you to do the same. Nobody speaks like that, stupid heart. <sighs> After all, this jackass is not worth my time. Oh, please, quit it. You know perfectly what you feel for me. Okay, where is the option I I would actually like? Because bo all of them are stupid. <sighs> What's this? She hated it. Say what? Have you forgotten all the nights we spent together? The pleasure made you feel in those moments. How could she? How could Elisa have hated that if, if she wasn't around? I don't get it. Nobody ever gave you as much. Admit it. It's not true. Oh, I 
can imagine how exciting your married life must be. As a response, she mastered some more strength trying to free herself. You are naive, you think you can get away from the man who gave you everything? Yeah, adapt. Did you think you could come here with your pros pr preposterous attitude and live victorious? You thought wrong. What the hell? I grabbed her first and threw her on the bed, then I jumped over her so she could not escape. What are you doing? What I should have done yesterday, I say is what is mine. I'm not yours! You know, well, it is like that. I whispered as I got closer to her. I beg you, I have a spot and son waiting for me at home. I've never been jealous from that point of view. I don't want your life. I want you here and now. Are you fucking kidding me? No, don't do it, I beg you! If you don't want it, why don't you try to get me off you? What? Quit being childish and get off yourself! You're a liar if you say you don't want it! I exclaimed, getting even closer. Leave me! Oh, come on, I know you want it too. Please, I'm a married woman! Don't foolish, nobody will know. I can't. I believe you're actually looking forward to being kissed. Phew! Thank god it's only that. Don't! I'd never waste the chance to face you once more. I threw myself on her, giving her a long, passionate kiss. She wanted to reject me, pushing me with her arms and trying to get me off her butt. The moment she opened her mouth for my tongue, everything got a little quieter. As her tongues danced and twisted together, Francesca would free herself from you, one waned. In the end, she could also enjoy that beautiful kiss. Once I let go of her, a string of saliva still connected our lips for a moment before breaking. I forgot what you taste like. I'll say it was a good idea to do this. I grabbed her chin and forced her to watch me for whispering one last sentence. Just to be clear, nobody tells me what to do or not to do. Much less one with whom I shared a brief affair. This little man will serve as a lesson for you in the coming years to remind you what you lost out on. And she really did not lost on anything. You're a piece of garbage. What? Seriously, if I were to see Alfonso on the street, I would kick his ass. Your blissful face gives me compression of how much you liked lying under me. Now that's, that's the most ridiculous thing you could have said as well. As far as I heard that her eyes wet, wetted, wetted and she put a head on her face for, to avoid crying. She gave me a feeble push and stood up, adjusting her dress in a haste. What's your problem now? You are a... How could you do this to me? She whispered sobby. Oh, Justin. It was Justin and some kiss. Come on, nobody will know that you liked it as well. I'm literally pissed right now at this guy. Your body was sitting on her tail a moment ago. No. God damn it, it's. How I've been to look at Federico straight after what happened? How will I tell him the truth? You can always come back to me if he doesn't want you anymore. I'll be more than happy to warm your bed again. Yeah, I would literally kiss, kick, kick his ass. The girl didn't even bother to she quickly left the room, slamming the door behind her. <laughs> Quiet touch, it seems. Quiet piece of shit you are, it seems. I woke up in the mirror with smug face and just my pants and my jacket in order to appear normal as I left the room. I loud too, it echoed from the low floor. Probably Francesca has still left the inn. I better get out of here as well. You know what? I honestly wish... I honestly wish... This game... Had some ending that would... Cause this guy... To experience something terrible. Like, literally, super terrible. But... Given the fact that... It, it isn't there in the achievements... I'm 
I'm afraid it's not possible to, you know, acquire, to acquire what I want. Because I literally want this guy to suffer. <laughs> After a quick brush up, I run out of the room, hope you do not cross anyone in the alley. Good, nobody's here, I believe I'll spend the rest of the evening with a good book I have. After returning to my room, I he heard some steps coming in that direction. Too close to get away, I better keep calm. Hey, you! I hope to get back to my room quietly. I know she didn't know, and I could see the innkeeper in front of me. She was enraged. Elisa, can I do something for you? You think I'm an idiot? I never think anything like that. Don't play dumb for you, you know very well I'm here. I told you in the clearest possible terms that you shouldn't have caused more trouble in my inn. Exclaimed the innkeeper as she got closer. Come on, stop him or something. That's right. Now one of my most treasured customers ran away, telling me she'd never come back again. What do you do to her? That's not reasons, I know. Do you know? This? She loved it? What? Dashing toward her, I pushed her against the wall in the aisle and aggressively leaned on the wall, facing her. What are you doing? I thought I thought that I would have had time for two if you just let me. What are you on about? Do you think that's a problem? I'm sorry for the issue I caused, but see, things like that happen sometimes. I slowly moved to her ear to whisper a few words. Have you ever had the chance to lose yourself in the moment? I... I believe that under your shell, the one you carry all day long, lies a fragger who is just waiting for someone to come and turn her world upside down. I came here to tell that you should stop behaving like that! And I'd like you to do it from now! I put my left hand on her face and start to caress her face. She was so soft. Why do you reject me? Deep down, you know, well, that I'm right. Stop it! Do you want to know why the barn has run away like that? I want you to stop! Delicately raising her chin, I turned her toward me so that I could look straight in her eyes. I always marveled at her beauty when I had her in front of me. The boss let herself go, right in the room, together with me. She's a mad woman! Or she's the stupidest mental prison that you ever fought to create for itself. Well... For once I kind of... Agree with him. Maybe. Because, I don't know, I, I don't feel like... Marriage, getting married, basically is important. But yeah, I, I still think he's a piece of garbage. He was born to deny our inner nature and to turn away from our instincts. That's not actually what it is, truly. You're wrong, you piece of garbage. What purpose is there in seeking love if that only turns out to be a shaky light that might crumble at any time? Open your heart to another person, only to be stabbed in the back as a pain nobody should have to endure, and nobody would if we were all more upfront with each other. I don't follow. I believe you understand perfectly what I mean, on the contrary. The girl's legs start shaking as her face became redder and redder. Leave me alone! You've always been a very disciplined person, never straying of the path you set for yourself. The man who came here never understood you. What should they understand? Someone who plays his role day in day out will never aim for something like love or marriage. Hundreds came into the scene, but nobody ever understood this about you, am I right? You're mistaken! You know nothing about me! I came even closer and our lips almost touched. I can smell her perfume, it is so swoopy, I wouldn't want to smell anything else for the rest of my life. I know enough, you are just like me. No, she isn't. She might have made other guys fall in love with her, but aside from that she didn't do anything. You on the other hand, literally used her. Use them. He tries to use them. You know. 
to gain pleasure for himself. Even though he proved he's pathetic and yeah, uh, he's pathetic. Anywho, I hope Alfonso dies in the end or something. Her face muscles relax a bit and I could pull her closer to me. Why? Why? Her expression was mesmerizing. Come on, Elisa! How can you be so sure? Because someone like you can be scrammed with a single word. After a short but endless moment, after making her feel my breath on her lips, I continued saying, Curiosity. What? You're a victim of Chris because you, just like me, you yearn for the freedom to do whatever you want, just because you want to do it. Okay, what you do is... No, 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 Alfonso, you are going way too far with the description of freedom. Definitely not. Mm-mm. To accept free with disregard for consequences, just to see what it's like, how it feels. Yeah, your con disregard for consequences goes way too far, asshole. One day you won't be able to resist the temptation anymore, because you'll end up constantly thinking about the taste of freedom. I really want to know its taste. Alice, I'm so disappointed in you. I'd been the girl in the end, her voice shaking a bit. I smiled at her as I looked at her, as if my prey had just been domesticated. I'm a jet popper, and as such, I can put you in the position that compromises your honor. How dare you call yourself a gentleman? How dare you? She made a faint moan as she half closed her eyes. For night is the best, we interrupt our conversation. As she heard the last sentence, the girl regained her sense and went back to having a normal expression. I believe so too. After I let go, her chin did not move a one bit, still shaken by what happened. Turning my back to her, I slowly walked to my room. I won't have dinner tonight, I'm still full from this afternoon. As you wish. I don't think that tomorrow I'll visit the place you suggested the other day, and who knows, I might be in a good company. After seeing my last arrow, I opened the door of my room. Good night, Elisa. Good night to you, my lord. As I closed the door behind me, I finally dropped the conversation with the innkeeper. I sat from it and took off my shoes. I'm sure she would have yelled it sooner or later. I looked out of the window and saw the moon was fully that night. I'm running of time. Three days have already gone by. My father will undoubtedly send a card for me in the next two or three days. Hopefully less than that. I shrugged and went toward my bed as I took off my shirt. No matter, I'm too close. I have more days and I surely have my chance with Alyssa. At that point I might as well leave this place. After getting under the covers, I turned off the last of the candles, resting my head on the pillow and falling asleep. The following day started really, really slow. As I opened my eyes, I noticed a few things. The curtains were pulled, the window was closed, and I could hear the soothing sound of flowing water coming from the bathroom. I don't get what's so relaxing about this morning, but it doesn't matter. I sleep the whole day with this atmosphere. Then go on, feel free to do that. As I was about to shut my eyes and fall asleep again, a shadow passed over me, startling me. Come on, assassin, some kind of assassin or whatever. God damn it. Good day, my lord. Covering my face with my hand to go see my shock, I replied. Good day. Now I understand why the curtains are pulled. The window is closed and there is water flowing in the bathroom. You were sleeping so that I didn't want you to wait. I didn't want to wake you. So rising from my bed, I sit on it, leaning on the headboard. You were really nice. I even already started gazing at the girl. Her intentions don't look too strange. Why is she here? Actually, I also came here for another reason. You were very busy these days, so I want to prepare a nice hot bath for you. Busy? Are you kidding me? I already put in the sanded salts and I laid down down to avoid spilling water in the bathroom. Well, actually, it's been three days since I last took some care of myself. What? Are you freaking kidding me? How? How is even anyone able to stand next to him?
Is he really a noble? Because I would say he's definitely not. A health buff would be good for me. You know what would be good for you? To get your ass kicked. Again. Have you verified that the water is hot? Hopefully it's so hot that it will boil you. Just a few months ago it would be steaming by now. Good. I finally put my feet on the floor, but I was still sitting on the bed, with the bed sheets covering my hips. Well, if you don't mind then, I'll go wash myself. I have to go as well, I forgot to do a thing! And you're both in Lord! The girl left the room and closed the door so quiet that it didn't make even a little bit of noise. I'm finally alone. I thought to myself as I stood up and walked to the bathroom. Whoa, what a nice scent. She must have used very fine bath salts. I took my pants and other pants I dipped into the hot tub. Ah, so nice. A hot relaxing bath was just what I need to clear my mind. I slowly rested my head on the wall in my arms on the sides of the tub. Given all the progress I made with this, I believe I will be able to score with her tomorrow afternoon. Just the fact you named it like that, she sets me off as well. However, the two maids working at the cathedral are quite charming as well. They're the first one in my life that did not just give themselves to me, but they actually took the initiative and teased me. Yeah. They clearly want me to go crazy over them. I raised my head and closed my eyes and said that. I won't fall for that, for it isn't easy to make me lose my mind for a woman. As I finished spelling out these words, the bathroom when Rebecca came in with only a towel covering her when she was carrying a few more. Here are towels, my lord! Said the girl, nonchalantly walking up to me before placing the walls on the sink beside me. Oh, why did you undress? It would be bad manners to come to the bathroom all dressed up while let your customers relax in the hot tub. But if you only had to bring the tunnels, there was no need to undress. You could have just left them by the entrance. Are you trying to say you don't like having me around here? Of course not. I'm just saying it was necessary to undress just to bring me a towel. The woman stepped toward the tub's mind before kneeling on the floor and leaning on its side. It is my duty to make sure that Millard enjoys a good bath. You are really very serviceable, I'm thankful for that. She's so sensual. What do these women possess that drive me so crazy? That demon Rushika is the way she speaks, slow and sexy, and that body. <gasps> I was feeling some arousal. The two mates have been teasing me for days by now. I was under pressure. That is nothing for me! Moreover. Moreover what? After long soon, she gave me an outlook look and a hint of a smile. I want to help you out. Hey. Oh. After grabbing a sponge from the shelf and booked up, she started washing my chest. I don't believe you need to do that. The inmates have always had their customers wash themselves. They have always been helpful for them. Don't you think it is a commendable thing? Commendable. Why would that be? As she went on clean, the girl started moving downward. But her special men choose to come to our room, and as a reward, they are taken care of, cuddled, and satisfied in all of their needs. In a way, we made maids give ourselves for the sake of the inn to increase its prestige. Don't you think it's awesome? Hmm. No? Oh, it certainly is. What is this feeling? With a delicate gesture, she dropped the towel that was covering her body, exposing her firm breasts. What are you doing? Me? Eh, nothing. The girl delicately moved the sponge far down, almost entering the water in with her hand. She saw got you washing my ups, still staring at me. The towel on her body looked like it was about to fall. My eyes didn't really ended up looking at her cleavage. What are you looking at me, lord? Nothing. There she goes again. I hope my presence here isn't causing you any discomfort. She whispered as she kept stroking. Okay, man, close. If she keeps doing that, I will. See, I told you he's pathetic. Look at this girl who kept giving me dirty looks. I had my answer to the question I kept asking myself for days. These girls I remind myself I way I approach the other sex. And that's why I'm so attracted to them. You kinda. You kinda stop talking. Am I making you uncomfortable? I don't... I'm paralyzed. Maybe you want me to stroke you a little bit further down? 
I got nervously and tried to reply, but she once again interrupted me with her words. Tell me what you'd like me to do. The way she moved her hands was driving me crazy. I can't stand that she is doing what she wants with me. You're driving me crazy. I can't take it more. Uh... <laughs> I don't know. This one? Oh, come on. She slowly came down to my hips, putting her whole hand into the water. Don't be a baby! <sighs> I felt the jolt in my spine when I felt her hand get so close. If she keeps doing that, I... Don't you like what I'm doing? Would you like me to stop? So, what is your wish? My air is almost now unbearable. It was really too much for me. She can't keep going that way! I was simply losing my mind. The girl, noticing my enjoyment of the situation, took her hand off the water and put the sponge back to the side of the tub, adjusting her towel. What are they? I really have to go now! I have stuff to do and I cannot fire it further! <laughs> yeah. <laughs> oh yeah. That's good. He deserves to be punished that way. Uh, she replied as she dried herself and covered herself again with the towel. See you later, my lord. The woman left the room so quickly I couldn't even say another sentence. Before I could blink, I was alone once again. I relaxed my muscles and slid a bit deeper into the tub, trying to calm down. I tried to get even more comfortable as I emitted a deep sigh. What a mess. <laughs> she destroyed him absolutely nice. After enjoying a few more minutes of soldier in my tap, I decided to get up and dress up. I think Mustico Mustico. A mosquito bit me in the freaking foot. And it was lunchtime by now. And I had a in refer Irrefrainable. Curious to see how the innkeeper would have behaved in the afternoon. I'm actually not too hungry. I'm already selling other things which are just as juicy. At last I adjusted my tag and started moving toward the lower floor, but I would have the immense pleasure to find the innkeeper once more. As I reached the main hall, I walked up to the counter to wait for someone to come and serve me. It's strange, there is usually someone on the counter at this time. As an answer to my doubts, the beautiful Lisa popped out and rushed to me. G -g Good morning, my lord. You came downstairs quite late. I think someone was waiting for me. What do you mean? Just good service. She probably accordingly trying to avert her eyes from me. And? <laughs> Relax. I turned to the window and thought myself in the view for a moment. Today is a really nice day, don't you think? Sure. It's just a right day to have that famous walk I've been postponing for so long. It is a great idea. I have to ask you one thing about this walk. Everything you desire, my lord. Her way to address me changed so much already. Throwing at her for a moment, enjoying the beauty of her eyes lighting up in that hope that I'd ask her out. I was wondering if. Yes? I was wondering if you could give Alice the afternoon off. I said I promised her I'd take her out today. I said to torture her just enough to have her crawl to me on her own. Alice! Is there a problem? I could read every enthusiasm disappearing from her face. Now that she realized me, the more I reject her and the more she want me. I guess it's alright then. Certainly, we don't have any guests and it will be fine for one afternoon. I'm very grateful to you. As soon as I come back, I'll tell you what I think about the hills past Florence. As you wish. Now, if you don't mind, I have more work to do. Sure, I know you're always very busy. See you later. Though annoyed and perhaps a bit offended, disappeared from my sight in the blink of an eye, leaving me alone once more. Ah, woman. Everyone finds them impossible to understand. But it is enough to touch the right feelings and they will start behaving. What? Seriously, this guy is such a garbage. I see you enjoy the wings. Through that, Sir Katrina suddenly appeared from behind the counter. I know what you're talking about. Make no mistake, I have someone cook me hot meal whenever I wanted to. 
However, don't you also think it's more fun to cook it yourself once in a while? I'm referring to something, perhaps. She came closer and continued saying, Haha, <laughs> you know very well what I mean. Actually, I don't. As you prefer. Changing subjects. What do you want for lunch? I'll be happy to assist you. I want to have some fun now. I'm afraid I won't be in this. Uh, uh, this one, I guess. Oh, uh, too bad. I want to keep you company today. Well, I. No, I might be back early. We could have some fun to, uh, before sunset in that case, don't you think? The girl gave me a knowing look as she showed an naughty smile and said, We surely would, my lord. And you walk out with Alice. She whispered, and as she left, I certainly will. Good then, see you later, my lord. The woman turned around and went to the laundry room. It's really shaking up to be an interesting day. <laughs> I better hang now before you get slight. Without waste more time, I went to the main hall and looked for Alice. The mate. We know who, Ma who Alice is already. She could, should be downstairs by now. I looked around and spotted her at the end of the hall. Was busy setting tables. I brought a hand to my mouth and coughed a couple times to get her attention. That's a freaking stupid way to get her attention there. The girl heard my noise and instantly turned to me. She came right as soon as she recognized me. I didn't have been chance to talk to her since yesterday at lunch. I should have asked her out later, but with everything going on I forgot. No, you did not forget. I hope she didn't take offense to the point of refusing my invitation. What with the freaking... Good attitude you do? What? Why is he suddenly acting like a good person? The girl came close to me a bit awkwardly. Good day, my lord. Good day, Alice. What do you wish? Actually, I want to talk to you. It's about yesterday, right? Well, uh, I didn't really know about Ply, so I stood silently hoping for her to say everything by herself. I didn't mean to ignore you, if that is what you think. Actually, I don't care at all. So she's not angry for Mr. Death Science. Why do you do it then? This one? You don't have to worry about this. I did not take offense. Thank God. I came here to talk to you about something else, my dear. What is it? I want to visit the countryside past Florence for a few days now, and today looks like it is the right day. It is an excellent idea. Do you want me to prepare something for you? Actually, I'd like you to come with me. You and me? Alone? Certainly. It would be a dream, Lord, but I don't think I can come. I already asked your mistress for permission, and since I'm your only current customer, she couldn't really say no. You don't have too much to do in this period. If that's how things stand, I fear I cannot refuse. Yes, you can. In fact, you can't. Yes, you can! I replied, beaming. She made a funny face as she replied and said, No, you're right. However, what will we eat? There is a picnic. Why is it pick and nick separate? Musket in the kitchen, I had it prepared. If you'd be so kind to go fetch it, we could leave right now. You would? Yeah, I'll be back in a heartbeat, my lord. Almost hoping the guy went to kitchen while I calmly walked towards the exit. You know what? Let's go on that picnic in the next episode and we'll see where this is going. For now, hope you enjoyed and hope to see you tomorrow. And I still hope this guy will get his ass kicked. Would be really nice to see that. Uh, Alright, bye bye.